My name is Conor Broderick, I'm from Dublin, Ireland. I'm a somewhat recent university graduate working for Robust Perception. And we are the world's only company dedicated to support, consulting and training in regards to Prometheus. And I'm also, I believe the last time I checked, the newest member of the Prometheus team. I'm here today to give you a quick lightning talk on getting in <laughs> So I'm here today to give you a really quick lightning talk on getting into a Prometheus development as a beginner or someone who's just completely new to open source. And um, I, as a relative newbie to this field and community, I feel as though my kind of you know fresh perspective on and recently entering it may prove useful to those of you out there who have yet to contribute to open source or more specifically Prometheus itself. So first steps. My first advice to anyone getting involved in the Prometheus community is to learn its landscape essentially. And by that I mean you need to gain a really high level overview of the project, its components and how they all interact with one another. I went about this in a number of different ways. The first, which is quite obvious, is by reading the documentation over at Prometheus.io. Why? It's literally the manual for getting your head around Prometheus and its different parts of components. It's actually fairly short, you get through it in a day, but it gives a great breakdown of all the key components for such as alerting, configuration, instrumentation, etc. It covers pretty, pretty much anything, everything you need to get going when it comes to you know, looking at the issues and tackling them on GitHub to, for this project. The next uh, point I would say is to watch and listen to previous talks from Prometheus contributors and team members. Many of the speakers here today have been working on the Prometheus project since or close to its inception, and they have loads of talks online for free on YouTube and whatnot. <clears throat> However, I would be careful while diving into these talks as while you can imagine, some of them range from quite introductory to quite complicated and complex, and they may not apply to what you're trying to do. Um, the next point I'd say is reading blog posts. A shameless plug for our own blog at repostperception.io, which has been mentioned a few times in the talks today. Um, the official Prometheus blog itself is also a great source and provides many useful tutorials and tips and tricks to help you understand Prometheus a little better than just from reading the docs itself. Again, many of the speakers here today run their own blogs, and they also share much of their wisdom and tips related to Prometheus too, which all helps build this mental image in your head of how it all works and fits together. So um, finally, I would say play around with the local deployment of Prometheus itself with the node exporter on your own box at home, maybe hook it into the final dashboard. There's tons of tutorials to do this online, and it's really simple now. So what do you do next now that you're a certified uh, Prometheus expert? you contribute. So let's start with contributing code. When it comes to completing your first issue on GitHub, I'd recommend checking out the low-hanging fruit and help wanted tags. As the name states, these issues tend to be the easiest ones to tackle initially, and they're also the ones that uh, the Prometheus team are actively looking for outside help for. So they will give you feedback, answer questions, and help you out when you start pushing code for these issues. Um, I'd also recommend by not starting out with Prometheus itself as it's a lot harder to get your head around than like the components, uh, the subcomponents like the exporters and the clients. So I'd recommend maybe maybe having a look at them first before looking at Prometheus because the code's a lot easier to, it's opposite to way shorter and you can get your head around it a lot easier. Um, how else can you help? Ask and answer questions, namely subscribe to the Prometheus, to, to the Prometheus users mailing list the Prometheus Stack Overflow tag, and join in the conversation on the IRC channel, uh, hash Prometheus on Matrix, I think. Uh, you'll honestly learn so much having read the docs if you follow and read the questions and answer po answers posted here. Doing so, you'll get a good feel of the typical issues users come in contact with, and this will help you answer questions in the future. And you'll also see the thought process of the other thought processes of the other more experienced, uh, knowledgeable people answering these questions. These insights of the main contributors are invaluable and help make sense of the high-level overview you have digested from reading the docs, but it'll also put it more into a practical, like in practice, way for you. Overall, I'd say don't be nervous, jump in and go for it. If you need any help with Golang, if you haven't written Go before, I personally read Introducing Go, which is a dead simple introduction to the language and its concurrency model and stuff like that. But the second book I read, um, Go in Practice, uh, has has more kind of Go patterns you, you come across and it makes reading the code a lot easier having read that book. Well, in my experience, it did anyway. 
Um, if you have any questions about this lightning talk, Prometheus, or life in general, general, feel free to catch me at the Robust Perception booth inside, or I'll be at the after party afterwards. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.